truffle mac and cheese balls. Uh, these are still frozen. Just took them out. I placed them on the air fry rack. I'm going to do it this way as opposed to the oven that they recommend. I think these are going to come out perfect and crispy. I really hope so. I'm taking every precaution. I'm going to let these defrost, as I mentioned in other videos. If you let these uh, items defrost before you start uh, air frying them, they do taste better. And that way you get a, a, a better uh, overall cook so the outside doesn't get too burnt or crispy uh, before the inside is cooked. Um, I'm thinking these won't take more than 20 minutes, uh, set at 375, but like I said, I'm going to let these uh, defrost a bit underneath. I mean, this, the uh, baking tray is a secondary drip tray, so that all the little crumbs uh, you can see here don't end up on the, uh, the bottom of my air fryer. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to let these defrost for a good 45 minutes or so, and uh, we'll fry them up and see how they uh, taste. Um, as I said, I'm doing every precaution because these are... $16 a pound on sale. Um, uh, as I took them out of the package, I could smell the truffle. Uh, that truffle smell, the truffle oil. Um, as we know, white truffles are very, very expensive. I don't know if these are white truffles or black truffles, but either way, um, I smell them and I'm hoping they taste as good as they smell. So I will be back to you soon. I am back. It's been over 45 minutes, just uh, under an hour. And these are nice and soft now, as you can see. Fully defrosted or almost. Uh, they're not warm, but uh, definitely defrosted. So, you know, throw these in. As I said, I'm going to give it 20 minutes. Worst case, I can always add some time. And I will be back to you with these uh, hopefully delicious mac and cheese. So, we're nearly at the 10 minute mark, and I can smell the truffle oil uh, coming out. So, I'm very excited. Mouth is watering. If you look inside, you can see some of that cheese bowling out. So, I'm literally going to stop it on the 10 minute mark and uh, test it out. So here we go. Look at those. Just beautiful. Let me pull them out. Before I do, just to note, uh, you'll notice the foil in there. I've got uh, a lot of videos and uh, a lot of comments um, talking about this foil. I've written extensively on it in the comment section, talked about it in other videos. Check them out, I uh, will link them below. Uh, but for those of you in doubt, that cheese, if this secondary drip tray weren't there, first of all, the cheese would have fallen down. I also have the foil on the primary drip tray, uh, otherwise this would have hit the bottom and eventually that cheese can, depending on what you're cooking, can either stick on or start to burn actually and smell and all sorts. So we use the foil, keeps everything clean. Here are my delicious truffle and mac and cheese balls. Look absolutely delicious. Uh, you, know, you can see they're hardening. It's got the little crunch there. Let's give them a try. Nice and crispy. And there it is. I'll leave a link for this uh, for this brand in the comments below. But here we go. Very good. Not quite as truffly as I thought it would be, given how much it smelled before I even cooked it. Um, I'm gonna go in for the second bite here. I would say these are good to say that they're $16 a pound. They're not $16 a pound good on sale, um, but worth a try. If you're into truffle, I think you'll enjoy these, um, but uh, not quite what I expected. They do look great, and I think they're a, um, uh, a nice, elegant appetizer if you've got friends over, family over. I will say they did come out well in the air fryer, uh, arguably better than they would have done in the oven, so that is the way to go. Not getting quite enough of the um, cheesy macaroni or uh, the mac and cheese taste, but um, it certainly did come out well in the air fryer. Nice and crispy on the outside. Curious if you guys have any uh, favorite brands or um, if you've tried these before, leave them in the comments below if you have. And um, if you found this at all helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe down below. And I thank you for joining me. Enjoy.